Your number one internet radio station. Uh, taking us uh, to 22 minutes after it's 8 to listen to Prefab FM this evening on hashtag Fresh Monday. As I already promised you at the beginning of the show, we'll have an inspiration talk or inspiration speaker who will be joining me on live on air this evening. Let me take this time to say, Mr. Mate, good evening and welcome to Prefab FM. Good evening, Debo, and good evening to your listeners. Um, how has been a day? Uh, have a good day. Uh, let's get into it. Uh, this uh, last week, we you just highlighted to us what you are going to talk about uh, uh, through the theme li- "Living a Purpose-Driven Life." And uh, this day, you say you are going to talk about who am I? What exactly are we talking about? Hello, Mister Mate. I will get back to him as far as the show uh, progresses in the other directions. Seems like we have technical difficulties there and there. That's 24 minutes after it's 8. Uh, we're still heavy. If you're just joining right now, do we have to speak to Inspiration Talker? Uh, that's Mr. Thomas uh, Kenneth Marte. Due to the technical errors, we are not able to uh, talk to him just for this case. Talking about people that have commented uh, this evening, uh, there's a lot of deduction. Uh, deduction, Zubia. Welcome back, man. Say thanks. I'm listening to, to you all the way uh, from Karazel. Spread the word. Uh, this is the station Prefab FM, man. And I promise you that the deduction and all the listeners will give you what you've been looking for in terms of how to live a purpose-driven life. And today, we're unpacking who am I? I have Kenneth back on the line just for this time around. Uh, Mr. Mate. Yes, we're, we're trying to, to uh, get back to the listeners. Last week, we talked about uh, how uh, to live a purpose-driven life. This week, we say we're going to talk about identity. Who am I? What are we talking about? Thank you very much. Um, like we said last week, uh, we, we are going to look at a topic which has got six steps, or what we call half dozen steps to success, of which the first one is identity. Who am I? Now, this is the step where we're going to take uh, a little bit of time because we are going to look at identity using various tools. And we promise the listeners that today we are going to look at what is called the Johari window. Now, the Johari window is a model for self-awareness, personal development, group development, and understanding of relationships. But our interest is on the self-awareness and the personal development. Now, this is a tool or a model that was developed by two American psychologists. Joseph Luft and Harry Eggman of Income in the 1950s, and it's called Johari after combining their... Uh, we have some difficulties there and there, listeners of this particular station. It seems like uh, we have lost him on the line just for this time around. I'm trying all my best. We are trying all our best to get him uh, back right here where he belongs. You can also uh, imagine, I'm not sure what's uh, really happening, but he was talking about the Johari window. Uh, we'll get back to him alive on the air. In case you've just joined me right now, be able to comment on 071-7099-840. Uh, that's on WhatsApp number or plus 27-717-0999-840. Uh, live study it is below the link just uh, for this evening we have a bit of technical issues as far as who am I 
he was going to unpack it just for us uh, this particular if you take us uh, to 27 minutes uh, after it's eight uh, listen to prefab fm with yours truly men behind the combination you can find me there on facebook and twitter at men behind the combination i'm trying to be famous eh? I'm trying to be famous, really. I'm trying to be famous at Men Behind the Combination. That's our Facebook page. In a short while, let me allow me to do this. And let's uh, wait for my guests uh, to still uh, get back onto an air in a short while. This Monday on Prefab FM, theorist, verbal linguistic, motivational speaker, and interpersonal intelligence, Kenneth Thomas Marcher decided to inspire us living a purpose driven life. Deal with these steps different. Every week we'll deal with one, but the first one will take us at least about four weeks because we are going to look at different researches that has been done. The first step is identity, where we're trying to answer the question, who am I? Get his insight as he impact the theme on Monday evening, hashtag Fresh Mondays at 8 p.m. Streaming live on Facebook page and Google under the page Prefab FM. Engage them, quote them, follow them, listen, open minds. As I told you before, we're having some technical errors. We're talking about uh, Johari Windows. Uh, what, what, what are exactly are we talking about? Or can you continue further where we, you, we left off? Okay, and when we got cut off, I was still trying to talk about the second quadrant, which is called the blind area, which means this is an area whereby other people know about you, but you don't know about yourself. So these are the things that are known about other people about you, but you are not aware of these things yourself. Then we go to the third quadrant, which is called the hidden area. Now, this is an area which is known by you or things which are known by you as a person, but they are not known by other people. And then the fourth quadrant is called the unknown area. Now, this is an area which is not known by you and it's not known by other people. And this is an area of interest to us today. Maybe let me start by just giving an example. If you want to know more about Mercedes-Benz, you can go to the people who drive the car. They will tell you the story. They will tell you their experience about the car. But that's the whole of it that they can give you. If you really want to know about the car, you will have to go to the people who designed or created the car. They will not only tell you about the car, but they will even tell you where the idea of designing the car came from, what the purpose of designing the car, the way it is comes from. And this is where now we've got the interest. We need to go to this area, the unknown area, and this is where we found the creator of all humanity. This is where we found God. If you want to know why are you on this earth, who are you, this is the area where you have to start. For God says in the book of Isaiah 43, when you read verse 1 and 2, he says, I know you and I've called you by name. When you go to the book of Jeremiah 1, 5, God says to Jeremiah, before... Hmm. Yes, we have a bit of problem there and there. I'm not quite sure what's uh, really happening, but uh, you can also uh, hear him as he's flowing all over, uh, talking about this jar window, and he also uh, mentioned about people knowing you, and also not, not people, know, people knowing about you, and also knowing about yourself. So it's... Uh, we have a bit of challenge in terms of uh, uh, this show for this particular evening. It's the name of the show is called Fresh, Fresh Monday. Fresh Monday, that's when you'll be able to give you what you've been looking for in terms of uh, a start over into the other days of this uh, past uh, weeks ahead of you as we prepare you for the next uh, days to come. Good evening. And to accommodate the dark skin people, Abshani. No. With a show of hands, I'm going to
and the Kurubi Sade, who did the decision out to us, Kamato, on Bigora Wun, on Bigachi, no Munamato, my designer was on Yanga. I'm proud of you, man. Can you repeat what you said? And the Kamuri, shout out to Yanga, who has two the big shot, Namatoma, the big shot, but you go five feet and only let's go defer as the minutes away. Dingar no because I would think of our Nanum because I would think of our business or in Farah Panda, but not what it is. Shout out to Prefer BFM, which could care our way, say Panda no Pata, our good is over Nay, about Nabukon, Gaurabukon, Gunaga, to say. Zonga uri ngaroti hariku ni rito dabatipo nunga sabini Bani bafurazi mbiru chena Bashu manari nezo wabudi robo poro wana Wari chinga hariku ni mara ngastuku ngastuku Shikone baite uri risende ere roswika Na musiru kodi amba zinuri mfarara Nani kori big up to prefab FM The station that is made for satisfaction Toma before I comment on your question mm-hmm. uh, Allow me to give you credit To say you are the best on this one uh, Prefab FM will never be the same without you we are live on Prefab FM, the number one station around Toando, number one station within the community of Toando, and also in Univen. Hey, hey, hey. That deserves a round of applause, man. Let's do this one more time. <laughs> uh, let's continue further. I have game back on the line. Let's continue further talking about uh, those people, things that people, they know about you, hence you don't know about them in yourself. So let's continue further. Okay, I was still on the hidden area, the things that you know about you that other people don't know about you. What I'm trying to say is, we, you need to take time where you are on yourself. Have a meeting on with yourself where you become the chairperson of the meeting, but also become the only attendee of the meeting, where you sit down and try to understand who you are, asking yourself questions, looking at the things that you know you are good at, looking at the things that you know are your strengths, things that makes you to be you, things that makes you to be unique, but also looking at what are your weaknesses. So this is a tool which can also be used to do what we call a sort analysis. Now, mm. once you have done that, then you need to go to the blind area. This is an area which you don't know about yourself, but other people know about you. I normally say this to people. When mm. people talk to you about you, listen very carefully. Because there are things that people see, people know about us that we don't know about ourselves. If maybe I can quickly share my experience. Yes. I am a qualified electrician, but tell me, in 2002, I had an opportunity to go for a training in presentation skills. I was mm. just sent there by my supervisor, didn't even know what the training was all about. But when the first day started, the presenter asked each one of us to give a presentation on any topic. And this was at the beginning of the training. I did not even know what presentation is all about. I did not even know what to present. But when my time came, I just told a story which my father told me when I was still a young boy. Then the training started. By the third day, the last day, we were to all do a presentation where the the facilitator was going to evaluate us. Being an electrician, now with a little knowledge of presenting, I came prepared with a presentation which was talking about electricity. But at the end of it all, the presenter, instead of giving me the feedback on my presentation, he said to me, you are a good storyteller. We were mm. expecting another story. Immediately, I just told them a joke. But driving back, going home, this man, I was driving with him, he said to me, there is something in you. All I can say to you right now is that one day you will work as something else other than an electrician. I can tell you, eight years later, the time came where I learned the position which I was sitting in as a supervisor with 38 people reporting to me and Mm. moved to a position of a trainer with nobody reporting to me. But today I can tell you the past eight years were the most beautiful and fulfilling in my life. Not only that, but it took me to places which I could not get to. Because today I'm not only living, but I'm living my purpose. Mm. I was was born to live to teach. I was born to be a teacher. And that came because somebody saw something in me that I was not even aware of. So when people talk to you about you, listen very carefully because there are things that people see in you that you are not aware of. Many of us have could have experienced this. When people come to you and ask you to do something and you want 
Let's do this. There's a comment that came through here by the one of our listeners, Deduction, saying, The man on air is really motivating me, especially when he emphasized by scripture reference, I'm enjoying this show. Hashtag men behind the combination. Hashtag men behind the combination. We, 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 we cannot do anything without referring to the Creator. We are here because God wanted us to be here. Maybe let me say this to the person who just wrote that in the book. Mm. do this, Mr. Matt. Due to the breakout that we have, can you just summarize up those four, 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 four windows uh, in order for people that have just tuned in right now and uh, they are just uh, uh, catching us in the middle of it? As we wrap up. Okay. about you. And I need to repeat this. 
Mm. When people talk to you about you, you need to listen very carefully. Unfortunately, Ndivo and the listeners, sometimes in this hidden area or the blind area, some of the feedback that we get about us, ourselves comes in a negative way. It comes as criticism. And in most cases, what we want to do, we want to defend ourselves. I mm. am saying to you today, when criticism comes, when you are on your own, try to look at what the people are saying. In most cases, there is truth in that. But because it's negative, we only hear the tone of the voices and we miss the message and the meaning of the words. So let's learn to look at criticism in a manner that it can build us. Actually, when people criticize us, instead of defending ourselves, let's try to engage them. Mm. We can learn a whole lot of things from there. Because they see things which we don't see. When we go to the third quadrant, it's a hidden area. So these are things that you know about yourself, but other people don't know. It is also important that we come out, we'll talk about these things going forward, that you need to bring out that which is in you that people don't know, so that people can be able to get to know you. Let me say this, Nibu, mm. to the listeners. You only had me speaking only once, and you invited me to be part of this program. Just yes. after hearing me once. So, when you do what people, what you are good at, when you bring out who you are and what you are capable of doing, people can see that, and people will invite you to be part of their lives. So, that hidden area, we've got the responsibility to bring it out so that people can come to know of it. The, third, the fourth quadrant and the last one is the unknown area. So, this is things that you don't know about yourself. And these are things which other people don't know about you. And this is where we are saying we need to take time to be with ourselves and our Creator. Connect with your God so that you can get to know why He created you in the first place. Why He put you on this earth and what is the purpose that He needs you to fulfill in this world. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Mattel. Let's do this again uh, next week, uh, Monday. Thank you very much, and thanks to the listeners. We welcome their feedback. It's such feedback that keeps us going. Thank you very much. Thanks to the listeners. And you can give them my contact if there are those who want to contact me. They can find me on Facebook, Kenneth Thomas Mate. And on WhatsApp, I'm on 72 and those who want to use a voice call, they can call me on 071-671-5369. Let's meet again next week as we continue to say, living a purpose-driven life. life. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Mate. I